Innovation Spotlight. Solving burning problems. Exolit flame retardants. Modern smartphones now rival computers in their functionality, but they also have to meet strict safety requirements. Flame retardants like Exolit from Clariant, incorporated in certain plastic parts, help to achieve this goal. This makes the processor encapsulation, current carrying assemblies, plug and flex connectors, as well as cables and above all the battery connection more flame resistant. Without flame retardants, a technical defect could rapidly cause a fire which would spread unchecked. When a plastic burns, the heat impacting on the polymer surface decomposes the polymer chains. Polymer fragments like hydrocarbons enter the gas phase and react with the oxygen in the air to produce carbon dioxide and water. The energy released during this process keeps the reaction, in other words the fire, going until the plastic or the oxygen is used up. If the plastic contains exolate, the decomposition reactions result in the formation of a charred, slightly foamed surface layer. This protective layer of ash foam, which itself is no longer combustible, protects the still unburned plastic from the heat and at the same time keeps out the atmospheric oxygen. The fire has nothing left to consume and dies away. From the outside, the smartphone appears undamaged. The starting material for these components is plastic granules in which the micrometer-sized exolate particles are incorporated. The exolate content is about 15 to 20 percent. Optimal mixing of the two components is achieved by a process known as extrusion. First, plastic granules and then, through another feeding funnel, the exolate powder are added. In the rotating screw, the plastic granules melt under pressure and high temperature and are mixed with the exolate particles. Because of its chemical composition, exolate itself does not melt but remains as a solid, evenly distributed throughout the polymer melt. Finally, a plastic strand is pressed from a molding nozzle of the screw conveyor and is cooled in the water bath. From here, it enters a chopper where the material is again broken up into granules measuring four to six millimeters, which are collected. Then in another process known as injection molding, the granules are melted again and forced into a mold under high pressure to produce the final components. The latest Exolit OP series is based on non-halogenated organic phosphorus compounds. Extensive toxicological testing and studies on their life cycle in plastics have demonstrated their favorable environmental profile. Increasingly, electronic manufacturers are using products like Exolit. Plastics with Exolit OP can also meet the highest flame protection requirements for electronic and electrical equipment, from mobile phones to washing machines, and can also be produced in an economical way. Clariant.